Hey boys and girls, I uh, just want to let you guys know about the new game Rock Band. A few little things you might want to know. Um, uh, first off, I'm going to show you the box opening, picture by picture, so you know what's inside the box, so you know what you get, and uh, see if you still want to get Rock Band. Uh, first off, we'll start on the graphics of the game. The graphics are uh, really great. Um, uh, EA came out with a really great game, and Harmonix worked together with them along with MTV uh, to produce a really great graphic game. Um, the only downfall with the PS2 version that I have gotten um, is you cannot design your own character and you cannot travel around the world. Um, it didn't bother me none because I knew that would happen before I bought it. Being that PlayStation 2 is going out and the play PS3, Xbox 360 is coming in. Uh, I do not know if they're going to make it for Wii or not. I've heard no word about it. Also, one thing great about the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, you can download exclusive tracks offline and PS2 cannot, uh, kind of bummed out about that, but uh, as I said, PlayStation 2 is becoming obsolete now that PS3 is out. So being for as good of a graphic game as it is for PS2, I mean, you're still not a bad deal. Uh, the price range for this game is 169 for Xbox 360 and PS3, and for PS2, it's only 159 Now, let's get started on the box opening. I'm going to show you step by step as I open the box what was inside the box so you guys will know what's going on. Off, you'll see a big yellow sticker that says if you encounter any problem with Rock Band, um, do not return to the store. Um, the fact being is that the stores are not responsible for if anything's broken in the box. Um, these people that sell stuff from the store are just wholesalers, like, um, you know, local stores, the game shops, whatever, the mall. Um, there will also be a paper inside that's bright red or pink. Uh, don't be surprised by it. It's just staying the same thing. Okay, now let's open the box. Remember when you're opening your box with a razor knife or car keys, whatever you're going to open your box with, remember to be careful. Hold your knife at a little bit of like a 45 to 30 degree angle so you're not to puncture whatever's underneath that box. Um, several times uh, when I worked at the store that people would cut too deep and cut right through a wire of their product, take it back, can't get their money back because it was their fault. So remember that little uh, info to just be safe. Now here's what's inside your box. Remember when I told you about cutting too deep, see how close the uh, the guitar is to the top of the box? Uh, that's, that's very crucial being that you don't want to damage that guitar. Um, also you see the pink piece of paper, which says a big stop sign on it, which states the same thing that was on the sticker of the box, saying that the store is not responsible for any accidents they are. Um, next is what's inside the box which is as soon as you open it you'll see the drumsticks the video game and a set of batteries and down the corner you'll see your microphone with the USB hub inside of a little tiny box don't forget about that USB hub being inside that small box I accidentally threw mine away and thank goodness I caught it before the trash got taken out next on top will be the PS2 PS3 rock band guitar it'll say PS3 in bold black print don't be worried about it because there should be a sticker on it that says PS2 compatible um, the reason they do this is just to save manufacturer time, labor, and money. As I can, I cannot stress this enough to put your knife at a 30 to 40 degree angle so you do not cut into the box to destroy anything. Inside the box, you will find your guitar, the head, which is where the tuning keys are for your guitar, a strap, and the sensor for your PlayStation for it to pick up the guitar. Next, underneath the guitar, will be your Sony PS2, PS3 Rock Band drums. Uh, the thing that makes Rock Band in itself. Um, remember once again when opening uh, your box to put that knife at a 45 degree angle. Um, and next is a picture to show you what is inside the box and how well the packaging company packed this to where it does not break. But once again, when you dig that knife into that box, you could damage something. You don't know what's inside of there. Okay, now that you got your box open, here's what you should have. You should have your drum pads, uh, two sets of stands, um, clamps with the stands, your bass pedal, and two foot stands. Um, remember when you're taking it out of the box, be careful. Mine was taped down and I was afraid to pull or break something. Just take your time when you're taking stuff apart. Just make sure you don't break anything. And last but not least, inside your box will be your microphone and your USB hub. The USB hub is a four port hub so you can add uh, a bass guitar, a guitar, your drum set, and your microphone. Um, be careful with this item. As I said, it is very small and I almost lost mine. Okay, now let's assemble everything. Uh, your drum set's pretty basic to assemble. I mean, it's pretty common sense to put together. 
everything snapped together and locks in. Um, there are instructions that come with how to put the guitar and the drums together. Uh, the guitars, once again, it's pretty common sense how to hook it up. Put your batteries in. Uh, make sure the red light comes on when you turn the guitar on. Okay, well that's it. Um, I hope this short video helped you guys so you know what's inside of a Guitar Hero box and what comes with it so you don't have to speculate no more. Um, as I said, it's a great graphic game, a lot of fun for family, for kids, I mean, for everybody. Uh, the game's rated T for teen, but uh, in my opinion, my niece plays it all the time. She's 11 years old and she plays it with me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, comment me, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy and rock out.